The Bible says that you are God, bro. The Bible says you are God. You believe that? The Bible says you a sucker. The Bible says that you are God. The Bible says you a sucker. I guess. I guess. we got for you that's all we got for you brother right. repent and turn from your transgressions that's all we got for you give me first corinthians chapter six. First corinthians chapter six it don't matter how loud that music get it don't matter how much you talk and ain't enough demons out here to confound the prophets right. the spirits of the prophets are greater than any demons that any of these so-called negroes are dealing with y'all right. foolish out here six and what yeah first corinthians chapter six and verse nine right. know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Any brother calling himself demon, anybody that's on demon time, ain't getting no kingdom of God. That's why we started with Matthew chapter 4. What we tell you in Matthew 4? Repent to get the kingdom of God. But if you still in your unrighteousness, if you don't want to repent from your sins, there's nothing but death and destruction for you. Read. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, uh -huh. nor adulterers, uh -huh. nor effeminates, yep. nor abusers of self of themselves with mankind, Read. nor thieves, uh -huh. nor covetous, uh -huh. nor drunkards, nor revilers. A drunkard is no different than somebody smoking. Right. You defiling your body with something that God did not create to be defiled with. Jeez. Wine was made to make men glad. Cigarettes weren't made at all by the Most High God. They were made by your oppressor, and you still choosing his ways. Keep reading. No revilers, no extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. You know what you are? You are a reviler. You are a reviler. All you're doing is reviling the gods, and that goes against the commandment. The scriptures say revile not the gods. I can't remember the law, but the scriptures say revile not the gods. Hey, what is it? Read that. I'm going to show you how you're still in the midst of sin if you were violent. You were violent. That's all. You are a vile brother that's reviling. That's it. That's all you are. Exodus 22 and 28. I'm going to show you how you're in the midst of your sin and your reveling won't allow you to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Read. The book of Exodus chapter 22 and verse 28. Read. Thou shalt not revile the God. Thou shalt what? Not revile the God. The Bible says thou shalt not revile the gods, but you've been on demon time for the last hour and a half reviling the gods. Death and destruction for you. Hell fire for you. Nuclear destruction for you. You ain't getting brought through the flames. You're getting burnt up in it. Read that again. Thou shalt not revile the gods, uh -huh. nor curse the ruler of thy people. And that's all you're doing. We the rulers of our people. Right. Your grandmama ain't no ruler of our people. Right. Your mama ain't the ruler of our people. Right. Them pastors ain't the rulers of our people. Right. These politicians ain't the rulers of our people. Right. You cursing the rulers of your people. Right. The rulers of your people going to come out in your face and tell you that you off, right. that you need to repent. Right. And it ain't nothing that you can say to put fear on us. And even if a, do, a spirit of fear do jump on us, and we ain't gonna run, we still gonna stand firm. Go back to 1 Corinthians 6. Neither what? Neither revilers, uh -huh. no idolaters, no adulterers, no effeminate, no abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. So you out here reviling the gods, we the gods. Christ said we the gods. The scriptures say we the gods. And all you're doing is reviling against us. It says there's no kingdom of heaven for you. Read. And such were some of you. But we still got mercy on you as a brother because we used to be over there. We used to do the same thing that you're doing. All that running of the mouth, all that stiff neck, all that uncircumcised lip talk that you got, that used to be us. So we still out here dealing with you. That's why I gave you the life in the scriptures. I told you you was a God. I told you you was special. I told you you was above all people because ain't nobody ever told you that. That's why your self-esteem is so low that you hate the brothers that look just like you. And the only way to fix that is with this bread of life right here. This is the only way to fix that. You got to repent just like we had to repent, my brother. It's no difference between you and me. You in the same city that I'm in. You drive the same type of car that I drive. You, you work the same type of job that I work. 
You was raised the exact same way as me. You was brought on the same slave ships as me, my brother. You still my brother, no matter how evil you speak of me, you still one of my brothers and you still gotta repent. I don't care what demon is on you, that demon can come off. The scripture says all manner of sin can be forgiven except for blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. And God forbid, I pray that you don't do that. Keep reading. But ye are washed. Uh huh. But ye are sanctified. The scripture says that we are washed and sanctified. Right. And you know what's going to wash us and sanctify us, my brother? The yeah, word of God. Right. The word of God. Huh? Get off this shit. Like, what's good, bro? You got a lot of mouth, bro. I got a lot of mouth. Oh, my, my, my. I ain't say nothing, bro. All I'm doing is reading the scriptures to you. Yeah, I, I ain't got nothing to say to you but what the scriptures say. Thus saith the Lord. Teach. Thus saith the Lord is all I got to say, bro. Yeah, the to scripture work. says repent and be converted. We're going to tell you to repent. That's it, bro. Whatever sins you in the midst of, whatever sins that you in the midst of, you gotta stop. I ain't repent shit. Why you feel like that though? Why you feel like that? Nigga, I ain't repent shit. Back up a little bit, bro. Back up a little bit, bro. We out. We out here. We out. We out here because we love you, bro. Bro, we out here because we love you, bro. Oh, the gang walking up. Nah, we not. You you looking for a reaction, bro? We ain't out here for that. I ain't gonna do nothing. I'm gonna read the scriptures to you. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you you a God. I'm gonna show you you a God. I'm gonna show you you a God. I'm going to show you guys. Give me Psalms 82 and 6. That's it. That's all we're going to do. This is all we got. We're not out here to fight a carnal fight with you, bro. We're not out here to fight a carnal fight with you. This is a spiritual fight, bro. The spirits that's in this earth right now is... Come on, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, call the police, bro. Call the police. Call the police, bro. Somebody call the police, bro. Somebody call the police. We're not going to touch them. Somebody call the police. Let them know that the brother is out here assaulting us, man. We ain't touch you, we ain't, we ain't got no smoke with you, bro. We don't want no problems with you. All we want from you is repentance. Right. All we want from you is repentance. We're going to call the police and we're going to let them know that there's some type of issue between you and I. Psalms 82 and 6. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 6. Uh -huh. I have said, ye are gods. All we out here doing is giving you the breath of life. Right. All we out here doing is telling you that you are greater than what they gave you here in America. Right. Right. And you want to come out here, you want to curse us. You want to knock over our signs. We ain't got nothing evil for you, bro. All we got is blessings for you, but you cursing us. Don't curse us, bro. That's not what we out here for. Keep reading. Ye are gods, and all you are children of the Most High. We're trying to teach you how to become a child of God. How to be a child of the Most High God. Keep reading. But ye shall die like men. And we're showing you that your judgment is death if you don't repent from your ways. Death if you don't repent from your ways. Give me Leviticus 19 and 17. Give me Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. This is what the scriptures say. The book of Leviticus chapter 19, and verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. The scripture says that we cannot hate our own brothers. We are here for an hour and a half, two hours, three hours, teaching you that Christ looks just like you. Teaching you that your people are not just black. That's a color in a crayon box. You the Israelites according to the Bible. The kingdom of heaven is for you according to the Bible. But the brother coming to us in the spirit of hatred. Keep reading. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So no matter what it is, I don't care how rough you talking. I don't care what the threat is. I don't care if it's a gun, if it's a knife, if you want to punch a piece of plexiglass to show me how tough you are. It don't matter. The scripture says what? Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. I'm going to rebuke you according to the scriptures. I'm not scared of you. There's nothing that you can say that's going to phase me. I'm going to rebuke you and show you what your error is according to the Bible. Read. And not suffer sin upon him. I'm not going to allow you to stay in the midst of your sin. You're not going to come up to me while I'm holding the microphone in the Bible and speak evil against the Bible, speak evil against Christ, and think I'm just going to sit back and let it fly. None of that works. It doesn't work. Not for the men of the Lord. Not for the prophets of the Most High God. Keep reading. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Neither will I bear any grudge against my brother. Because you know what's going to happen? If the brother comes back up and the brother wants to repent, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to invite him into the fold. I'm going to invite him to the school. I'm going to say all praises to the Most High God. That demon, it's not demon time no more. It's God time. It's nation time. It's war 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 time. 
We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.